you've always been very public about your health. Yeah. Of course, I remember years ago hearing you talk about diabetes and, and your struggle with that. Tell me about what has happened recently. When were you diagnosed with, with Alzheimer's? I can't tell you the exact time, date, but it was approximately two years ago. I was, uh, my doctor recognized something and told my wife about it and they had me set up before I knew what was happening around me. But uh, they diagnosed me with uh, early onset of, uh, of Alzheimer's. And I looked at it the same way I looked at diabetes. Uh, we, I had diabetes now over 40 years and uh, spent a lot of time learning how to manage the diabetes. My daughter is also a diabetic since she was 10 years old. And uh, the, as a family thing, I mean, we always back and forth to help each other. When it comes to the Alzheimer's, I know the result of all the Alzheimer's. I don't go out around public saying what's going to happen and when is it going to happen. I mean, the process has started, and I'm going to live one day at a time and do the best I can. And if I can encourage other people to how they approach it with their family, their moms, their dads, or whatever, uh, I, I give them some kind of onset, and then this is what we should be doing, and not just not doing things, but taking someone and put them into a a room and locking the door and forgetting them, and sometimes that happens too much. Why did you want to talk about it public? Just for that reason that you think you can help mm. others struggling with it, other families? That was, that was the main intent. I guess in my, all my life I've been involved from the time I was a young boy, chasing my father around Forty Grave. I was always involved and listened very intensely to the conversations that people would have around. We didn't call it Alzheimer's in those days. But the fact that uh, you can talk about it and open up a dialogue, I think it gives the people some uh, some support. And I mean, I personally have had a lot of support from friends and from other people t and with the diabetes over the years at work. Well, I guess it's just a natural thing for me to do is to talk about it. I'm not looking for anything. Um, I'm hoping that there's going to be enough research that's going to be done that's going to we're going to get some benefit from it sometime in the future. And, but I don't hear a lot about that now, the research in Alzheimer's. Uh, not not in Canada, not in this area. In Australia and other places, you hear a lot of research is going ahead. So maybe if more people like you talk about it publicly, you're hoping that that might prompt yeah. talk, more interest. Talk yeah. about the possibility of what can happen in a positive way, not a negative way. Mm -hmm. When it affects you, uh, how does it manifest itself? How well, do you feel? Mostly when I'm tired. I know it, I, I'm talking, and I, all of a sudden my, I lose the thought of the words that I was trying to say, and that will go on for a while. And so it, 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 uh, it's a mis mishap in, in, in how I would speak continuously, and that's not like me. <laughs> but uh, it happened. I've got to deal with it now, and I'm, I'm dealing with it in a positive way that I can survive as long as, it, as, as, long as I possibly can and think positive about it because it's no good getting up every day complaining. Uh, I've got Alzheimer's. What am I going to? I'm not going to go out anywhere today. I'm going to be the same person. I'll always talk about things, and I'll hopefully pass some information along or gain some information from what's actually happening. It strikes me as a very generous thing for you to do to talk public about something that is probably affecting you so personally and your family and friends. But are you aware now that people might be watching you to kind of monitor the progress of this? Are, are you comfortable with that? Yeah, I have no reason not to be comfortable. You know, I mean, there's, there's something that's not it's not going to walk away. It's not going to go away. So you got to learn how to live with it and being as normal as you possibly can. What advice would you give for people watching or listening now uh, who have family members struggling with the same disease? What would you advise well, them to do? What I would advise them to do is to accept the fact that their mom, their dad, their brother, their sister, someone they, they is diagnosed with, uh, with Alzheimer's, uh, you're not going to be able to jump up, made, wave a magic wand, and things are going to change to improve. It's going to be a slow process, but more people need to be involved. More people need to be uh, speaking out, uh, you know, and, and talking to your doctor and talking about what is the best thing to do. Because, I mean, a lot of people just forget, well, there's nothing we can do is negative, and 
when, when the, the future is not very bright. When you go talking like that, you'll never get a cure. Mm -hmm. So a positive attitude helps positive in all, all attitude, respects. Positive attitude, exactly. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for speaking with me. I wish you uh, only the best with your health. Thank you very much.